Hey everybody, let's talk a little bit about layers. So layers is a great way to organize your artwork in Illustrator and to keep you from going crazy when your work gets a little more complex. So first, let's take a look at the layers tab right here. So to find this, if you can't find it in here, you go up to window, and down to layers. If it's checked, you're good to go. So in our layers tab here, you see we have four different shapes. Each shape right now is currently in layer one. If we want to create new layers, we can come down here to this little box with a plus sign in it. We hover over it, it says create new layer. We also have create new sub layer and make release clipping mask. So let's create a new layer. Once I've done that, you can see that layer two pops up. So if I go back to layer one, anything in layer one is going to have a little blue outline around it. That's so you know, that's in layer one. Now let's take this red square right here. We're going to move this into layer two. To do that, we can click on the red square, and if we look in our layers tab right over here, we see this little blue square up here. All we need to do is click on that blue square, move it up into layer two. Now, the red square is in layer two, which again is marked by a red outline. It's kind of hard to see because it's already red, but it is definitely a red outline there. Now check this out. Over here we have this blank spot and this eye. So let's say we're on layer two. If we click the eye, it disappears. The work is still there, we just can't see it and we can't access it. So we bring it back once more. And if we layer one here, if we go down here, we click this spot, this will create a little lock, a little padlock right here. What that does is it doesn't allow us to grab anything but layer two, which is currently open. If we lock layer two, then we can't get anything at all. We unlock layer one, we can get everything, but what's inside layer two. We can do that as many times as we need to organize our layers. So we'll make the blue circle in layer three. Oops, I moved everything in there. Blue circle into layer three. And I'll we'll move this yellow guy here into layer four. And we'll leave the star in layer one. Once again, you can lock and unlock any of these here to access only certain parts of your design. And here's another cool thing about it. Let's unlock everything. And we're going to put our layers on top of one another like this. And I'll bring it here in the middle of the screen. So check this out right here. You see the red square is right on top. If I click on layer two, which contains the red square, and move it to the bottom, it also moves to the bottom. So on and so forth. You can move them anywhere you want, and you can even use them to combine layers if it's high lit like this. So that means... Layer four now contains layer two, which is the red square and the polygon back here. So when you're using layers to organize your work, you're going to find yourself a lot more organized and a lot happier in the long run.